Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Fitri bin Rosman. Uh, my number metric is 10 DIP 22F1004. Today, I want to present about Capital Markets and Service Act. What is Capital Market and Services Act? The Capital Markets and Services Act 2007 CMSA is a Malaysian law that regulates and provides for matters relating to the activities, markets and intermediaries in the capital markets and for matters consequential and incidental territory. The CMSA 2007 provides provision relating to civil remedies to the victims of securities crimes and further empowers the Securities Commission Malaysia SC to enforce administrative and civil actions. Capital Market and Services Act 2007 also it was enacted to consolidate, consolidate the Securities Industry Act 1983, Act 280 and Futures Industry Act 1993, Act 499 and for matters consequential and incidental territory. Provisions of the Act include the regulation of company takeovers and mergers and the provision of civil remedies for fraud victims. The structure of Capital Markets and Services Act 2007, its current form 50 September 2015, consists of 30, 13 parts containing 394 sections and 11 schedules including 4 amendments. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Khairuddin bin Ahmad Razwan. My matrix number is 10 DIB 22F1044. Now, I would like to present about history and background of Capital Market Service Act. History of Capital Market The Capital Market has undergone tremendous revolutions throughout the centuries. The 14th century necessitated the need for banks since there was a high demand for the conversion of coins and money exchange. Financial markets at the beginning of banking were built on a debt basis and they deal with lending and borrowing money and trading the loans they gave out. The first bank in the early 14th century was the bank in State George in Italy, founded in 1407. Bardi and Paisi families were, were prominent families who dominate the banking industry. Medici Bank established in 1397 was one of the famous lending system. In the 15th century, most companies in Belgium deal solely with promissory notes. Companies like the Dutch East Company paid regular dividends annually for 200 years from its setup. It is the first company to issue stocks, a system to trade stocks and securities intensified, leading to establishment of the New York Stock Exchange. NYSE, 24 stockbrokers developed it after they signed the Buttonwood Agreement in 1792. Lack of oversight in the 18th century led to scams and cheating in the financial market. The British and American governments outlawed the issuance of new stock. The scams and cheating led to the formulation of oversight laws. The NYSE faced few competitors until, the, until other stock markets like the London Exchange and the Security Exchange Commission SEC were formed. SEC is an entity responsible for governing the financial markets and their participants. NASDAQ was established in 1971, a trading system that allows its members to trade electronically. It is the world's first electronic market operating in 29 countries globally. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
Nama saya Afiq Fakri bin Abdul Ghani Nombor matrik 10DAB 22F 1066 Saya ingin menghuraikan tentang uh, Capital Market Services Division 1 Licensing and Regulation Number 1 No person shall whether as a principal or agent carry on a business in any regulated activity or hold himself out as carrying on such business unless he is the holder of a capital market services license or is a registered person. Number two, except for in respect of an insurance company licensed under the Insurance Act 1996 or a Takaful operator registered under the Takaful Act 1984, the Commission may impose such terms and conditions as may be deemed appropriate on specified person. Number three, any person who contravenes subsection commits an offence and shall on conviction be, be liable to a fine not exceeding 10 million ringgit or to impres, imprisonment for a term not exceeding 10 years or two votes. Division 2 Records This division applies to a person who is Number 1 A licensed person who carries on the business of dealing in securities Number 2 A licensed person who carries on the business of fund management. Number three, a licensed person who carries on the business of advising on corporate finance. Number four, a licensed person who carries on the business of investment advice. Number five, a licensed person who carries on the business of financial planning. Division two, a register of securities. Number one, any person referred to in subsection 82 shall maintain a register in the specified form of the securities in which he has an interest. The regi number two, the register required to be kept under this division shall be kept at such place within Malaysia as may be nominate, nominated by the person referred to in subsection. For the purpose of this division provided that such person shall notify the commission in writing after beginning to keep the register. Number three, a person referred to in subsection 82 shall enter in the register, particular of the securities in which he has interest and particulars of his interest in those securities within seven days after the date of acquisition. Division three, conduct of business, subdivision one, general. Division 3. Certain rep representation prohibited. Number 1. A licensed person shall not represent or imply or knowingly permit to be represented or implied in any manner to an another person that the abilities or qualification of such licensed person have in any respect been approved by the commission. Number 2. A mere representation that a person is the holder of capital market services license is not a contravention of this section division 3 issue of contract notes number 1 the minister may make regulation under the under subsection 378 with respect to the issuance of contract notes to client of a holder of a capital market services license number 2 a holder of capital market services license referred to in subsection shall comply with the requirement of the regulation made by the minister in relation to contract notes. Number three, a holder of a capital market services license who contravenes any requirement of the regulation in relation to contract notes commits an offence and shall on commission be liable to fine not exceeding three million ringgit or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding five years or both. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Azim Hazlami bin Hazmi and the number matrix given is 10DAB 22F1042 So for this video, I'm going to talk about relevant institutions that is related to CMSA There are four institutions which is first, pension and retirement funds, life insurance companies, charitable foundations and non-financial companies that generate excess cash Understanding the capital markets. First, we got the primary work market, which is uh, when a company publicly sells new stocks or bonds for the first time, such as an 
which is in an initial public offering, which is IPO, it does so in the primary card capital market. This market is sometimes called the new issues market. So the second one is the secondary market. The secondary market includes venues overseen by a regulatory body like the CEC where these previously issued securities are traded between investors. Issuing companies do not have a part in the secondary market. The New York, the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ are examples of the secondary markets. The final content that I'm going to be explaining to you guys is the problems with capital markets. Although capital markets are crucial to the modern economy, they can, they can fuel misinformation, greed, and economic downturn. These consequences are often perpetuated by businesses and investors using incentives, which can greatly influence the market. For example, while bonuses and stock options can motivate the investors and employees, they can also encourage unethical decision making, contribute to pay inequality and turnover, and reduce in citrix values. Moreover, equi equity analysts may feel pressured by the companies to make extreme valuation, establish job security. Even more common is evaluating the market based on others' feedback and an analysis. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Saiful Amin bin Sharuddin and my matrix number is 10DIB22F1032. Today, I want to present about matter related to Islamic bank or other financial institution. Number one, the section. The description for the for the section is in the Capital Market Service Act. There are several sections established to complete and enforce the said act. In that act, this act is also used by Islamic banks and other financial institutions to avoid prohibited things and the such. After that, the part of CMSA. Number 1. CMSA is divided into several sections which explain the application of the Act. Number 2. CMSA is also described the procedure used in an institution with certain Act and regulation. Number 3. CMSA was also established to properly regulate the capital market and service provided. The conclusion about CMSA 2007 The summary and finally the conclusion I can make based on the explanation of all the group members just now is we may say that over the past year SC has focused its effort in promoting confidence and trust in the Malaysian capital market and in helping market work efficiently providing lower financing costs while remaining stable resi resilient.